Now, the Springboks know they must pitch up both mentally and physically for today's Rugby World Cup semi-final against England at Stade de France in Paris to avoid the pitfall of losing to a team that everyone but them is making the underdog. Now, let's cross to Leanne Manis in Paris. Leanne, a very good morning to you. I can't imagine the vibe, you know, the, the, the mood in Paris in general. Tell us a little bit about how it's been there in Paris. Uh, Lebo, it's been absolutely incra crazy as we landed here in uh, Paris on, well, I don't even know the days. You know that I don't even know the days. On Thursday morning, we landed here, hit the ground running, was soaking up the atmosphere of Paris, finding fans all over the place, trying to get to all of the, the big tourist destinations just so that we could have a word with them. And let me tell you, they are nervous. There is a sense of nervousness ahead of this evening's match, I must say. But uh, last night we happened to go to the uh, the All Black semi-final with Argentina as well. And, you know, that stadium is just a vibe. It's an absolute vibe there in the stadium in the Stade de France. But, yeah, for Argentina, it wasn't too much of a good game. Of course, obviously, we saw the All Blacks taking that one by a massive margin. I mean, it, it, it was just, it was crazy. So, if we get to the final, Final, that's who we meet. Anyway, all of this has been quite an experience and an experience that has been given to us and allowed to happen by our sponsor Isuzu, who's brought us down with them and the team who have all the vibe we need actually to feel what it's like to be in Paris during this time. And of course, traveling with the uh, Morning Live sports producer who was also sitting with me in the stands last night. So we've got Tony Pinar, who's the department executive for supply chain management at Isuzu and Tando Mkoli, who is our sports producer at Morning Live. It is so good to be with you, albeit a little chilly on the streets of Paris this morning. No, it's fresh to say the least, <laughs> um, but I think it's going to set the tone for a fantastic day. Yeah. As you said, walking around here, just seeing all the supporters the pierce that you can feel out here is simply awesome. Yeah, I mean, we know, Tanda, we've been walking around, we've been feeling it, we've been seeing the South African fans. However, today is going to be a very different theme. This is going to, it's going to erupt with English and South African fans. Uh, it's going to be interesting because both fans are very passionate, both fans are very knowledgeable about the game. Um, this is a personal one for a lot of people. Um, England, uh, obviously, we beat them in the 2019 final, but the one thing about the English, even in that tournament, they were nowhere, but they came out and they beat a very good New Zealand side, and that was impressive. But today, the Springboks have got their time and, and an opportunity to shine and put themselves right on top of the rugby food chain as one of the great teams ever. Yeah. Sia Colisi can sit up there with the Richie McCaws and those kind of um, legends of the game. So today, Paris can either, huh, it's going to be tears, <laughs> whether it's uh, tears of joy or tears of um, of. of, of and enjoyment more than anything else because there's still one more game to, to be played. Yeah. Um, two more games and then we come back with the trophy. That is one hell of an incentive. Wow. It's, it's, it's waving the bait right in front of their faces. Obviously we know as Isuzu you've got a whole bunch of guests that are here. Um, last night the South African fans were very, very quiet, just watching quietly. How did you enjoy sitting in the stands last night? It was an interesting experience. <laughs> I think... <It> uh, <laughs> Some people were rooting for the All Blacks, some for, for Argentina, depending on your view on that. But I think tonight's going to be different. I think it's going to be a bit of nerves at the beginning. It's just knockout rugby. Anything can happen, so nothing can be taken for granted. Yeah. But I think if you look at the way we finished off, the calmness that the team went about the last few minutes in that critical match against France, I think it shows a mature team, and I think we know what we have to do. And the guys have got 62 million people supporting them. And we're going to make ourselves heard tonight. Oh, we are. Oh, we, we were saving ourselves. And that's one thing, I, you know, from my experience, one thing I can tell you from sitting in those stands last night. Uh, we were very quiet. The South African fans, there wasn't a peep. Oh, listen, the, the fact that we had New Zealanders sitting behind us, I had a flag being flown in my face <laughs> and New Zealanders screaming in my ear all night. So I kept it very, very calm. But not tonight. Not tonight. What did you think of the game last night? I, you know, I, as I always say, I'm no expert, but... It, it was like a walkover for the All Blacks. It was a disappointing one from an Argentinian uh, perspective. Um, guys like Augustin Creasy, Creevy, legend of the game, has carried New Ze uh, Argentinian rep before a while, actually. He basically was part of the change that took them from a semi-provincial outfit to a very provincial outfit. He's a legendary captain. 
he bars out without a World Cup medal. Um, well, he might get a bronze, but that's not the one that you want. Um, but they started off well. Um, and also, New Zealand, they, they basically show the composure. They know the stage. They've done it three times. They know what it takes to win a, a tournament like this. Um, number four, both South Africa and New Zealand want it. And New Zealand look like a team that is very hungry. And they're willing to play for their coach, who's going to be leaving at the end of the tournament. Yeah, well, okay. It's going to be, it's going to be a nail-biter when we get to those finals, which you guys are going to be at as well. I mean, I know, Isisuzu, you've sort of taken this journey quite seriously up until the finals. So, as you said earlier, we're here with a big group. It means a lot to us, not only as South Africans, but I think as an organization. This is the culture that we want to see. It mirrors what we do as from a Springbok perspective versus what we do in a business, the, way, the will to want to win. Uh, and that's, those are the synergies that we see and why we do things like we do here. Yeah, and, it's, and it's, it's wonderful to be able to see it and to see, and I imagine what it does for the players as well, just seeing those stands packed with supporters, knowing that the country is behind them. And, and, and really, there, there, is, there is such a, a vibe. I mean, you, you, you can feel it, you can see it. But as we say, tonight is going to be a very tense occasion between the English and, uh, and South Africa. But we'll talk more about the game and the, and the chances and the chances for us but perhaps maybe just getting your expert opinion because everyone's an expert. What, what are you feeling for tonight? I think it's going to be a tight game. I think it's not going to be a lot in it. It's going to be Test Rugby and it's going to be a World Cup semi-final. Yes. Um, and I'm still calling it a South African win by eight points. Eight points. Oh, I hope so. I'm going to be screaming. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find if it's not eight point if it's more than that you get a hug. If we lose by eight, then I don't know what we're gonna do. You Tanda, you're the expert here. So I mean tell me what do you think for tonight? What do you think is going to well, happen? Let's start with the basics. We don't need to win by eight points. We just need to win by one. <laughs> yes, we So can. from but there... But nearly killed us last week. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you'll upgrade your medical aid. Um, ultimately, ultimately uh, the Springboks have shown, um, this team in the last six years have shown that they can win the big matches. They beat a very, very good British and Irish Lions side. They beat New Zealand uh, and Australia. They've beaten some really top teams. They've pushed your know, Ireland and France away from home very close. So in, on that front, they've shown in the past and they've got a history of winning the big games. They, 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 they tend to come together and show their true potential in those matches. So um, I believe that tonight, hopefully everything clicks into play um, and we play at our best like we normally can. Again, like I said, it's two matches and these guys go from being good, a good team and a great to a great team. Um, we've taken two very good well, um, Springbok teams in the past to defend this tournament. We've been unlucky by a, a refereeing decision or a crazy drop goal from 60 meters out. But the one thing I, I saw and appreciated in that match against France, the discipline in this team. We, we could have considered a penalty which would have sunk us, but the guys remained disciplined, they remained calm in a very, very heated situation. So in that sense, I think we should be okay. Um, Again, we don't need to win by much. We just need to win. How we do it does not matter. Um, if we get our kicks right, for example, to get the scoreboard pressure up, our defense is solid. Jacques is a, one of the top defense coaches in the world. So we should be okay on that front. But I still believe that we'll have just a bit too much for England, even at their best um, tonight. All right. Well, you've heard it from our experts here on Morning Live. From me, Suzu. I mean, did you have you ever been called a, a rugby expert? This is the moment. Enjoy it, relish in it, and of course, Tan Tando. He is kind of one, a, a bit of an expert in all sports. Guys, thank you. Tonight is going to be absolutely incredible, South Africa. So the day has arrived. We've been building up to this occasion, the semi-finals. But can you imagine if we make it to the finals and the build-up into the finals? But nonetheless, let's go. One more match to get into those finals, and it's going to be incredible. I mean. I can tell you one thing as I cross back to the studio. Last night we were keeping it very generic, not too much South African gear out, just keeping quiet. But tonight is going to be a different story altogether. The battle between the English and the South African center stage. We'll see you again in the next hour here, live from Paris. Leanne, thank you so much, uh, all the way from Paris. I hope that you are learning the songs from our Guijo uh, uh, squad there in uh, Paris. You know the songs by tonight. We have a few hours to learn all those songs. Uh, Leanne Menes there in Paris for us with the team and Isuzu making it possible uh, for the team to be out in Paris.